Friday morning. I'm excited. So, got a bunch of stuff planned for today. I'm gonna run over to Cortland and do some trash picking over there. Um, and then I have a treat especial for this afternoon. So, got a bunch of stuff planned and uh, let's get to work. That is an empty truck. Yeah. Now, yes, this is a type of a recycle bin, but they don't recycle steel here uh, in this area. So, if they did, that'd be different. So. But I recycle metal and aluminum, that's for sure. as well look I guess nothing nothing All right. do I see looks like a vacuum cleaner yeah and these these cords are 40 or 50 cents a piece is this? Looks interesting. Don't really know. Those guys looked cool. I'm glad they were left out. Is that a scrap vulture? I think it is. <laughs> yeah, those are just cool. I can scrap them. <laughs> oh, it's a bumble. Should I, should I change the name of my channel to Scrapping Bumble? Scrap Bumble? <laughs> so I just bumble my way through things? Yeah, I'm okay with that. The new name, Scrap Bumble. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's go find something. Really, the most interesting man in the world is right here in Cortland, Illinois. All right, most interesting man. Come with me. <laughs> what do you guys think? A little baby trailer? Take a look at it. Looks like 650 bucks. Six hundred fifty bucks, or best offer. I like it, and it's small too. Wow! Good tires. I don't even know how much do they go. How much do they go for? I really don't know. So there's a handle here to. Yeah. Whole back comes off. It's at least as big as the back of my truck. What do I see on the curb? I'm, I'm gonna ask though, just to make sure. It's a Honda, six horsepower. Uh, let me make sure. Okay, I just talked to the homeowner and they said, yeah, we're giving it away. So, not sure. It looks like there's some missing stuff with the air filter, stuff like that. But, yeah. Let's get her loaded up. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? I have an idea. Let's get these front wheels on it first, if I can. And then we'll pick the rest of it up. If it doesn't fall, don't fall. Right. 
I'm really close to my house, so to get straight to the old house. A couple of things here. Got the scrap vulture <laughs> and the scrap bumble. Yes. All right, where am I gonna put these guys? Yep. I'm gonna go right here for now. Bumble and the vulture. It looked like a, I don't know, it looked metal on the top. Is that metal enough? I think it is. I don't know, that chair's kind of cool too. Ow. Feels kind of sturdy. You know what? That's going to be resale store. And this, it's going to be metal. Or, yeah, scrap. Is it hard to take it off? Mostly falling off. Well, there's metal in it anyway. So yeah, this is going to into scrap. Whew. Whole bunch of kitchen stuff. No bueno. No bueno. even though it's after um, it's like 9 51 right now so I've been scrapping for a little over an hour and haven't really gotten much you know I got that lawnmower and things like that but um, yeah I want steel so it looks like it's not gonna happen so I think it might be almost time for the the treat especial yes so but before that you know I yesterday I kind of had a, had a down day you know didn't really do much I didn't do anything really except for lay in bed and it was on my just on my phone answering comments and um, yeah and you know I um there's there's a there's a person that I, I'm becoming friends with her name is Natalie and she is an amazing person uh, so I mean extremely musically gifted and um, so I've been you know, emailing back and forth with her you know, just you know, regarding life stuff and you know she's watching the channel and I'm listening to a lot of her music that she has made and just I mean I pretty much spent the day yesterday um, listening to all of her songs on SoundCloud so it was really cool you know we emailed back and forth a few times so Natalie you're awesome just want to say that it was you know such a treat yesterday hey I'm gonna pick up my three cents of steel that's what I'm talking about. So yeah, that, that was that was just really cool. It's this. Wow, bright. That's what it is. A few people said that they would just love pots and stuff like this. Oh, this one isn't new, but yeah. I'm curious about this. Guy. You think it's magnetic? What do you think? It said distributed by Greenbrier International, made in China. Does China's silver is it magnetic? Yes. She hits this time What if she makes her mark 
Where will my future be? If she catches up with me, I wanted to run away, needed her to let me be. But now I see I was trying to run from me. What do you see? Is she beautiful or is she make believe? What do you think? Am I a slave to this or can I ever be free? I need to know now. What do you say? I need your help now. Can you scare her away? But what if she hits this time? But what if she makes her more? Where will my future be? If she catches up with me. She hits this time. What if she makes her mark? Where will my future be? If she catches up with me, I wanted to run away. Needed her to let me be. But now I see I was trying to run from me. Sit down, sit down Let me finish my tale, let me finish my story So now you see I'm a wandering ghost and I'm gunning for me So loud, so loud I'm singing my song, I'm a mental mori I don't know how To count the years that I've been searching for me So I talked to my scrapyard And they said they are willing to take Dishwashers So Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Yeah. Some of this stuff wouldn't be that hard. And three houses down, I see a shovel. A pretty beat up shovel, too. smelled like just plain old dirt so someone's been working serious how much force would it take to yeah that's a working person right there something peeking out at me yes. I will take it Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Looking around. I wonder if I look like a prowler to some neighbors. You know, uh, like a burglar. You know, prospecting for their crime. I don't know. Yep. I see three cents of steel. Going for it. It's all about the steel. And the boots. What else is there? Wait a minute. Who's that? Ugh, it's full of water. Ugh. Can I break that? Guess I can. get rolling three cents of steel I'll take it anything else right. these don't look bad cents of steel. I'll take it. It's all about the steel. Is this aluminum? It is. Very nice. Take this. 
all day long. Aluminum, a little bit of steel. So that's glass. That's why I wear gloves. Well, I'm gonna leave that. It's. Good stuff. I see something that looks like a refrigerator or an appliance of some sort. What do you think? Is that an appliance? Yay! Yes, please. Shut the engine off for that one. Yes, please. I gotta make some room. Hi, puppies! Three puppies! Hi puppies! Hello puppies! Hmm, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna move that all the way over. Fire this up when I get more, a little more squared away. Prices are going up, so if you ever wanted to. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah, busy, I'm, huh? Yeah, I'm always right, on the road traveling. Are you? Yeah, so, right. I'm never home. Okay, well, appreciate your help. Hey, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you have some nice dogs. Uh, the, the yeah. The yellow one came up and said hello. Oh, yeah, he's. Yeah. He thinks he's a badass, but he's really not. <laughs> well, I would not want to see the business end of him. Yeah. Why? Just like that, so we're nice 99% of the time. Yep. <laughs> All right, thank All you, right, sir. Thanks a lot. Yep. Let me uh, move that. Now, look at this day. Absolutely gorgeous. And the weatherman, or the weather report, said that it was a 74% um, chance of rain. So I'm not sure what weather's on its way, but. All right, let's go hit the scrapyard and then treat Especial. <laughs> All right, pulling into old Dimco. Let's get weighed up. Now they had a special uh, for this month, the month of April, where all the cans were 55 cents a pound, and they got overrun with people bringing in their cans. Uh, yeah, it was it was nuts. They were telling me about it. All right, so 3,940 pounds. All right, let's go get this stuff offloaded.
from Kip. So it looks like 3,700 pounds. Sorry about the crazy footage here. All right, let's go in and get paid. Okay, so $145 per net ton. Um, so that's a little bit more than seven cents a pound. <clears throat> and let me see, I had 240 pounds at $17.40. So it's 10.30 a.m. and I'm gonna go do the treat especial here and you know what I'm really excited about is I was just talking to Caitlin she's she's the um, office manager in there and I said you know, you know she said happy Friday to me and I said yeah happy Friday to you too except for I know you have to work half a day on Saturday she's like nope I don't she said I have stuff I have to do I said cool what do you have going on and she said she's doing a 5k run for autism uh, they're a local autism um, fundraiser and I thought that was just so amazing. It just warmed my heart, you know, that she is giving, giving herself, giving back, taking time off from work to help others. And that's what it's all about. You know, <laughs> it really is. So, excellent. Good on you, Caitlin. And I'm just proud that DeKalb Iron and Metal employs people with such high uh, morals and standards and integrity that stuff matters uh, so if you haven't had a chance to look at recycle dudes latest videos yet go ahead and take a look at that um, you know he's he's one of the good guys you know he, you know he's conscientious he cares about not just the environment stuff but he's also he he's a hard worker that he believes in micro scrapping um, and the value in that and you know that's just not how I'm wired but I respect the fact that he does that, that he does the eBay thing. He sells, you know, a lot of stuff on eBay. And, you know, and that takes a lot of focus and determination to track a, uh, basically it's tracking a sale, you know, all the way from the, the, the sales call to the, you know, pick, pack and ship uh, to the order tracking to getting it to that customer and customer service. All real business actually happens in that eBay world, which you know I'm not that comfortable with doing. So anyway, if you get a chance, go ahead and take a look at uh, at Recycle Dude's um, channel. He has some really good videos, especially recently. They're they're rocking. So anyway, thought I'd just say that. What is happening, man? What are you up to? You look like you've been scrapping. You got gloves. Yeah. Snippers. I have, man. Dude, want to show me what you're up to over here? Come on, man. Give me a give me a one minute review of what you're up to. Outside scrapping pallet, man, costs much. Oh yes, if, sir. If it's valuable. Yes. If there's any value? No, we're just uh, <laughs> um, coming around the corner and uh, getting ready to paint. Refinishing cabinets. Refinishing cabinets. Got a couple stubborn ones here that kind of threw me off a little bit. What is what what is this? Uh, this that, is actually uh, there was some stuff left in the in the grooves. Oh. But everything else is ready to go. This one here it was just being stubborn, so I had to put more stripper on it and scrub oh. it down. Okay. Yeah, I see there's still some on the sides, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, I got so you said there was two different woods. There's one that had a was a tiger maple. One's a tiger maple and one's an oak. Two totally different uh, beasts. 
but you couldn't tell because it was all painted and lacquered and painted you and tell going and in. lacquered. You don't know until you strip them. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Cool. So, so I was wondering if you want to go hit some dumpsters. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. All right. So we talked to these guys a few days ago, and they said they were cool. And the same builders are doing two houses over there. So we're just going to go in, look for some scrap metal, and get out. right below you. All right, hang on. Wow. Okay. Yep, I do. Yeah, this is no joke. This is nice and awkward. Wow, it is still totally sealed. Huh. Huh. face full of sand. Uh-oh. What are you up to, Rick? New stack, huh? New, Here, let me move this move this stuff out of the way first. So I'm gonna be tripping over it. Now this stuff is at galvanized, which is over eight cents a pound, which is more than my regular seven cents a pound for appliance shred. For your, yeah. for your other job. Oh, we can, yeah. Let's do it. So yeah, he's uh, he's doing a roofing job next week, which has a chimney, so he can use this for that roofing job, including these two pieces for flashing. He's been doing a little bit of wire. So, yeah, so he's get, he's collecting his wire stash that he's been getting from this uh, side over here. I think it's awesome. So, good stuff. So I have that galvanized stuff in it. I have 3,840 pounds um, is how much my truck weighs. And Rick just got 80 pounds of 70% insulated copper wire. So I'm curious what he's gonna be getting for that. Um, 
That is awesome. All right, as soon as I get my green light, I'm gonna go drop this off at the galvanized area. Go throw this stuff off the truck in the galvanized area. So it's a little bit before lunchtime, and those uh, galvanized clips that I just dropped off was $169 per net ton. So what's, 100, what's half 117? It'd be eight and a half cents a pound, and 160 pounds for $13.52. Now, Rick found some wire yesterday. I did. They gave me number two copper, 70%, um, and I had, it's a buck ninety nine per pound. Two bucks a pound for wire. Dollar ninety nine. Isn't that what that says? Mm -hmm. Or maybe is it just? Oh no, that was the uh, that was the two pounds of the straight copper I had. Yeah, yeah. The seventy percent wire is a dollar thirty six a okay. pound. Okay. Yeah. For one hundred seven dollars and forty four cents, the number two copper was three ninety eight for a total of one hundred eleven dollars and forty two cents, and that took me twenty minutes to get that last night. Not bad you, for 20 minutes worth of work. So in 20 minutes, you got 111 bucks. 111 dollars, 74 cents. That's right. <laughs> God, you're awesome. All right, yeah. so let's go hit some, uh, let's go hit some dumpsters. Some dumpsters. All right. Let's do it. Man. Thirteen bucks. A little bit of aluminum. Got scraps on it. That's fine. Is that the right size? Well, looks like it. I'm not sure. Okay, I got it. You know what? It probably isn't. Yeah, I'm gonna measure it. here 42 inches 37 yeah ain't gonna do it no nope. all right all right off to the next the old weaver dumpster Don't look like a bunch of anything. They've been doing something with wire somewhere. They're looking at the spools. And the one dumpster over here has got like 16 spools. All right. All right. All right. So we'll talk to the construction guys here. And that's 48 inches by 40 inches. Um, if they're broken a little bit, yeah, they're fine. But if they're uh, on the side, on the side, not the slats, but the side with the cutout, it's busted on the end. Um, would you be okay with using a forklift moving product on it? No. Okay, then let's not grab it. 
So Rick just noticed that someone took the yoke off of this, which is, yeah. But they didn't take the degaussing. Solid copper, Solid bro. Solid copper, brother. Yep. All right. I've ever found a chain link fence in the dumpster before. I don't think I've ever found chain link fence in a dumpster before. Now that I know that there's some stuff back here, I parked the truck. Steel. Practice good circus to get juggle. I can you, you wanna see me juggle? Alright, so we're back at this dumpster that uh is at this house that had a fire. And it looks like people have been just actually dumping their stuff. So that's a stainless steel, I think. Um dishwasher. And then another dishwasher there, and then some aluminum back there. So but uh, yeah, the bricklayers are here, obviously the bricks. So Rick's off talking shop with the bricklayers. <clears throat> Don't need any of that insulation. That's for sure. What's up? Well, when there's a door, I can do the dumpster. <laughs> yeah, that's a little steel one, huh? Yeah, I think so. Not really, yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. We're looking at cord. What? Oh! Good eye, man. That's a dollar all day long. It might even work. No, it's Talkie. it's tore up. Where? I thought I saw a piece where it's ripped. Yeah, right here. Yeah. That's fixable, ain't it? Wow. Well, that's that's a forty dollar cord, man. You need one, right? Uh, uh, Ready to roll it out? Yeah. I get that aluminum frame. Ah, oh, it's on my toe. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I, I got steel toes, but it was a little bit past. Uh -uh. Wait. Good pull. Oh, all right. Yeah, we'll take them because uh, uh, Dimco said they take them. So there's an aluminum. Yeah, do that. A little flat, flat simple cable. Some FFC for you electronic folks. How am I gonna get out with this thing? I guess this way. Aluminum. Whoa, hey. All right. Okay. Two dishwashers. <laughs> oh, just fell off that curb. All right, 
right, so we got some dishwashers to load up and hit the scrapyard. Huh? We're gonna load up these dishwashers and go hit the scrapyard. Yeah. Dumpsters. Yeah. All right. If Let's we go. have a, if there was a sudden need to wash a pot or a pan. Yeah, drop off our scrap. Look at that scrap truck. All right. Sounds good. That's the main man right there. Just cool stuff. Ah. Yeah, they are. We make a lot more money. We're spreading the load. So we just got twenty-seven dollars and fifty-five cents for that load just now, and we still have the copper piece, the insulated uh, wire that, or the extension cord, okay. some aluminum. Mm -hmm. But we had 380 pounds of shred at $145 a net ton. So that's a little bit more than seven cents a pound for $27.55. God, you are amazing. Thank you so much for this time. Thank you for this day. Man. God, I just wanna praise you. Man, I get excited about it. just run around and just doing your will, God, because it is fun. And you know, I'm having more fun just chasing you, God, than, than I ever did just chasing my own thing. So I just want to thank you, God, for, for allowing us to be a part of you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Mm. All right, let's wrap it up. So long, scrap world. <laughs>